shareholder. Shareholders equity. Okay, let me look at the shareholders equity. Okay, I'm just doing live. Okay. Hold up, I'm streaming. As soon as the stream is over. Shareholders. Right. So, shareholders equity. Please, can any one of you, just even if you guys are wrong, I don't mind. Can you tell me what do you think would be included in the shareholders equity? Sorry, this one. Can anybody of you please tell me what can be included in the shareholders equity? Shareholders equity. Because in the last class, we were quite confused in this regard. We were, you know, including the issued and paid up capital. We were including like 75, 75, 750, like 750,000. Like, this, this amount. I'm talking about this amount. Yeah, 750,000. I, I remember we used yes, last week. Yes, yes, we use this one. Yes, I remember that too. Because I remember Mr. Jondal pointed out that teacher we will be using this one. I distinctly remember this one. But can you tell me that why we, don't, we did not uh, consider this amount? Because you know, when you will see your income statements, you might get confused that, oh, this authorized capital term is not written. This issued and paid up capital is written because there are some different terms in your assignment. Like if we see your uh, your statement, Miss Nalini, where is it? This return on equity. Yes, this one. So which one will you take? Which amount will you consider in this? Common is strong, preferred is strong. See, that's why I told you, uh, you know, to. There are some numbers uh, inside, uh, like 4,800,000 shares authorized, non issued. But these are the number of shares here. These are the number of shares. You will not write the number of shares. This the is total the total holders equity. Total holders. Yes. Simil simple, simple things. Never get confused with This stockholders equity. This is the where did my mouse go? No, yeah. Preferred stock. This par value series A convertible okay. from the stock share authorized. This and this common stock. This this this. But the total amount is given over here. So this is what you will be considering. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, can I pay with coin? Similarly, let me check if. Okay. So Mr. Ryan is not able to. Okay, his income statement is very simple. <laughs> but shareholders equity. This he has such simple term over here mentioned in his. Like you can just simply take this amount because total shareholders equity is written over here. Like he 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 he, 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 he will not be confu get, getting confused in this amount these amounts because this title is already written over here for him to consider this one. That's nice. Okay, Samir, can you open your assign uh, your annual report and tell me if you can. If you can tell me the amount of shareholder equity, you can share your screen if possible. Yes, ma'am. Let me see. 
okay see that's why is this is this like uh, like benefiting you or not So yeah, at least we are having an idea uh, what we have to look for, the terminology uh, regarding this uh, assignment number three. Right, this is, that's why, and this shareholder equity is so confusing because there are a lot of terms, common stock, preferred stock, dividend, that you, you, you might get confused because when I was a student, this was really confusing for me as well, honestly, honestly guys. So that's why I took this formula only, return on equity, because we have other formulas as well, return on assets, return on this, return on that, but those are easy, current assets, or current liabilities, these are here, only here as well, so it is easy for you to take it from the balance sheet and calculate it, okay, so I am stopping my share, you may share it, share your screen now. And open your, yeah. Open your balance sheet and tell me the shareholders' equity. Okay. Equity. <coughs> Total equity is 9,483. Where are you? Can you please zoom in? Uh, I don't know how to. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, Just zoom in. Like in the mobile, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Have they issued any shares? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah I don't think so either. No, oh, they have. They have because oh. it, it, it's written share premium. Right. I guess, oh yes, you tell me, sorry, I was uh, going to tell you, sorry. You tell me which amount you will consider. So, share holders uh, equity. Uh, share premium. The share premium is Samir something that you will get above the amount that you have invested. For example, you have invested 10 dinars in ICSA. ICSA was into profits. ICSA will give 5 dinars as a bonus, as a premium. Premium means something that you have earned more as a profit to each shareholder. You invested 10 dinars, okay? On each dinar you will be Oh, sorry, on, uh, and that one share was of 10 dinar, okay? You purchased one share, okay? One share was of 10 dinar. They, there was a policy that if our company was into profits, we will be giving 5 dinar on each share. Tamir was have, having one share, we will be giving him 5 dinars as a bonus. So you will be paid back 15 dinars and 5 dinar as a dividend, okay? Mm. That's your dividend. But this premium is the extra amount that the company earned above the amount. See, what is the premium? That Actually, this is the concept that I gave you. But, for example, the company invested into the company, the, the total number of shares, number of shares was 1,000. Okay, ICSA issued number of shares 1,000 at 10 dinars. Left. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know how do you write K W T I D. I guess you guys write. I'm just writing K D. Okay, yeah, I, I'm just writing K D. Okay, okay. Thousand the thousand shares at ten dinars each. Everything on my price. Okay, ten percent. Now when they invested it, so yeah. So when you will equal it, how how much will be the amount? Ten thousand, right? Yeah. 10,000 will be the amount. Now, when they, like the year passed and you know the people invested and everything happened, they had a premium. They had a premium, okay? 500. How much will be the amount? So this is the share premium due to the see due to the good name of the company, due to the brand of the company, branding of the company, due to the already ongoing profits of the company, 
any share that is sold above the par value is the premium <coughs> see i told you that whenever the shares are distributed like the um, the, the what the shares are distributed by distributed i mean the paid back that right. they are paid back like you invested 10 you are paid back 15 sorry 15 oh oh 15 okay so your dividend will be 5 right right samir yeah the difference yes this is your dividend but but when a company issues shares at 10 which is a par value but due to their good name uh oh but due to their good name due to the market value due to the what do you call it the branding and stuff their share